Swift UI can detect when your app moves to the background, i.e. when the user returns back to the home screen, and also when it comes back to the foreground. And if you put those two things together, it allows us to make sure app pauses and resumes work correctly, depending on whether the user can see it right now or not. This is done using three steps. First, we add a new property to watch an environment value called the scene phase. Second, we use an on change modifier to watch the scene phase changing. And third, we respond to that new scene phase somehow. Now you might wonder why it's called scene phase as opposed to something to do with your app state. But remember, on the iPad, the user can actually run multiple instances of your app at the same time. They can have multiple windows known as scenes, each in a different state. Now, to see the various scene phases in action, we can try some example code here. We can say, firstly, there's a new environment value to read, which is called scene phase. I'll make a variable called scene phase to store that here. And then in our body, let's have a simple hello world again, like this, boom. Uh, I'm going to have an on change of that scene phase here. Give me the new phase here. And we'll also read the old phase at the same time. Old phase and new phase coming in. So you can read both if you want to. And inside here, I'm going to say, if our new phase is equal to dot active, then we'll print we're in the active phase. Else if, else if new phase is equal to inactive, then we'll print out inactive. Uh, otherwise, new phase equal to the background phase, then we'll print out background. So handling all three phases here. Press Command R, run this thing back here. You can see it's as active straight away. But try going to the home screen. So Shift Command H, go to the home screen. You'll see it's inactive, then background here. So you can see there are three scene phases you want to care about. Active scenes, they're running right now. But in iOS means they're visible to the user. On macOS, an apps window might be wholly hidden by another app window, but that's okay. It's still considered to be active. An inactive scene means it's running and might be visible to the user, but the user isn't able to access them for some reason. For example, if you're swiping down to partially reveal the control center, then the app underneath is considered inactive. Then we have background scenes. They are not visible to the user, which in iOS means they might be terminated at some point in the future. 